Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Michael Ray of Silicon Valley. And I am going to be covering the Mac operating system for this particular episode. And um, then basically we have uh, several categories that is the most important for dealing with market share. The number one category is for any good operating system to uh, create additional market um, and to get alliance with uh, or, or people that would stick with an operating system is to do some very basic concepts and things but the number one category for this for the market share category is for any good operating system would be to be able to get around and open and switch between items with the fewest clicks in the operating system uh, until the user is very adept with the operating system but in this case we are going to take a look at a few things um, I noticed there is a little bit of inconsistency for instance, if we click on something down here and hold the button down, it shows what in Windows would be considered a right click, uh, which is okay. However, if you were to have an icon in this area, which doesn't appear to have any at the moment, so we need to open something up and make something here. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's actually drag something out here, maybe. Oh no, no drag and drop. That's kind of annoying. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. So I'm going to have to open the finder and find an application here. Okay. So we want to find an application and put it on the deck here on the didn't remove that that's fine applications is where all the applications are but here what we do is if we click and hold this down there is no change there's no right click equivalent for that particular object compared to down here we know that obviously they do have the drivers written for it they just haven't added it to the desktops icons kind of annoying but really the number one thing right now is under the apple i think it's under no it's under uh finder finder services let's see file finder i think it's under finder um recent items okay See how this kind of opens up and you can go up and down here. This is a very preferable method. However, they need to also have a category called applications, which is obviously all listed quite nicely under applications versus the, having the database or the list. All you need would be the name field and the uh, program it actually opens and to be under the Apple similar to the recent items or even like maybe just above the above the recent items or something in there so that you can do a single click slide over to it obviously I do like this category where I don't have to click again when I hit a group uh, such as recent items it automatically opens into the next layer and then I can click on something else. Now, if it was something like this, and it was actually all the applications, I would be far happier with this operating system. The other category is, this is the Finder. Now, I find the Finder a little bit annoying, or actually all the applications a little bit annoying, because 
everything, this entire menu is up here. But now if I have, let's say, now I'm not connected to the internet, but we'll, we'll open another item. We'll open Safari and we'll make it a different size so we can see which things are which. And what we have is a weird problem because is this this one or is it this one? Or if they are splitting the window. Which I find really annoying. See now if it's splitting the window then it's really difficult to double check to make sure okay which one's highlighted or which menu is up here for instance if this happens to be highlighted or focused on if you will then that doesn't show up there either versus this is actually the finder this is the finder versus the web browser or if it de defocuses it looks like it goes to the finder but the thing is you have to check you know you don't you can't just go to the application window that you're normally would use and pick something from the menu you have to make sure you're focused on it and then you have to go over here if you want something out of the menu instead of it all being within the application window itself for the ease of access and you don't have to keep like check this window go back up to here and check that or what is it this one or check this name versus what the application if you're not familiar with all the applications every all the time you'd have to double check and see what application it is um, <clears throat> so then you it, it's just kind of annoying to me that you 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 can't look at it and know exactly what it is right away without double checking a few things and one of the main things especially if you are in a office uh, where production is important um, and it's you need to be able to switch between different systems without having to worry about whether or not what which menu this happens to be up here in the corner or not because the menu carries with the application if you just look at the application the menus there and you can just look at it and know okay that's the application and I just select from that menu I don't need to like double check or say okay well let's see I want to switch do I want to switch uh, what different recent items or, or however this part is done is is kind of annoying rather than saying okay I can just click on this pick file whatever it might be in that application and then it's there or if it's visible you know you can just pick file boom 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 okay so the other annoying thing is I can X this out okay finder doesn't really count for this but if I can be terribly annoying with this see if I click X down here it says the application is still open no matter what these two applications are see I X that out and it went away completely all right but this one here has a dot sometimes I guess for the other operating systems it has more prominent line for the later ones this particular operating system is version uh, let's see about this Mac this particular operating system is OS X El Capitan Capitan um, it's an older operating system compared to the current one but it's it's very cumbersome to smoothly get around now if this Apple had an applications category it would be so much easier to slip into it and get the item of everything that's installed on this computer 
it would be so much easier rather than trying to open up the finder all the time. The finder is such a pain in the butt to deal with. But what's even an more annoying is this here. I can exit like I'm, I'm closing this out, right? I want to get rid of it. I hit exit, right? But it's still there. Now over here, it's not there. Now, if I reopen this, the difference between the X and the minimize is this little thing here. However, it doesn't really make a difference whether I click on this icon or that one. And the consistency of the program is really kind of silly because basically this X here and this line does exactly the same thing. Why have two things, two buttons, of different colors right next to each other that pretty much do the same thing. Why bother with it? It would make no sense in the uh, in the making of this operating system. It, it has no relevant meaning. Now, if there was actually something to where one is actually minimized, let's say minimize was to have it minimize over here and it's actually running it's actually running minimized in the background but the other one is actually where if you exit out which means it doesn't go into the minimize category but it still appears to be on or loaded or it's in this operating system might be resident in memory but it's not being processed by the 